G'day guys, it's Jimmy Hack on the job. Today I'm going to show you how I check sensors. And today what we'll be doing is checking the TPS sensor, better known as the throttle position sensor. It's not a sensor that plays up a lot, it's usually the map sensor. Um, but we will go through one by one and check all the different sensors on the AU Falcon and how you should be attacking that project. Alright, so first up today, we're going to be checking the TPS sensor. So basically a quick... Um, debrief as to how it all works is you've got a 5 volt reference voltage going out to all the sensors TPS and the map sensor they all share a common 5 volt and they all share the same ground um, what's different though is the input voltage coming back from them they have signal voltage coming back and that changes depending on the conditions the engines facing so TPS has three pins uh, pin 90 and 91 which is shared also with the map sensor and pin 89. Pin 89 is the main one we need to be checking, having a look at and making sure that when we push the throttle down that the voltage changes. Alright, so let's go through what you need to do to check a sensor. First of all you need a meter like this one and you need some back probes. These look like little precision needles. Um, you don't want to be cutting up your wiring with a pair of pliers and and uh, probing it that way. These are proper back probes. So first up, you just want to check your probes are working correctly. So I'll put this on the ohm reading, basically, and, and touch these together. Make sure that's zero out on the meter. All right, we've got 0 0.6, which is pretty close. That's enough for our test. All right, so now we'll put it back to voltage DC. DC voltage. Um, there's also AC on here, which we check wheel bearing sensors with, they're an AC signal, as are some of the crank angle and cam sensors. Alright, so let's first up check the TPS. Alright, so as I said before, you got pins 89, 90 and 91. We're going to check our 5 volt reference, which is coming out of the ECU, to make sure the ECU is actually sending the correct voltage out to the sensor in the first place, to make sure we get the correct reading back. Alright, so if you have a look at the ECU on the top of it, you've got numbers down the side here, really hard to see, they're quite small. Uh, that one's pin 79 there, and the one up here is pin 91, and the one at the very end is pin 104, I believe. So this is our negative or ground, um, and that is pin 91. So what we're going to do first is put our ground, ground wire in there, ground back probe. Let's um, see if we can get a good shot on that. If you don't get it the first time, don't worry. you just got to do it by feel. And you do need to have your ignition on so you know that you're uh, back probing correctly. Make sure my ignition's on. Yeah, so ignition on red lights. Okay, so we're going to be looking for the 5 volt reference, which is sending out to the TPS. Back probe at the back of it might be better doesn't work the first time just keep trying they can be challenging to, um, to back probe They're very small all right so here we go we've got our 5 volt reference voltage so the ECU is generating the correct voltage to go out to the sensor and as you can see it's plugged into 91 and 90 which is our 5 volt reference all right, we're going to disconnect this now and go to under the bonnet to the TPS and make sure the TPS is receiving the 5 volts. All right, so we're out here at the engine bay. I'm going to hook up our ground first, which is the metal one. So just in here, we're going to reach in there and see if we can get the pin correctly. Sometimes it misses. You're going to do it by feel. Now we'll check the orange wire, would have been the orange and black. And we'll see if we've got a 5 volt reading on that. Okay, we've got 5, but when I let it go, oh yeah, there it's fine. Alright, so we've got a 5 volt reference. We know that the wiring basically getting to the TPS is fine. So now we've got to make sure that uh, the signal return wire, which is the green one, take that out of the positive on the bottom the 5 volt reference I'm going to put that into the signal return back to the ECU which is green all right so that goes in there and what we're going to be looking for here is the voltage to change our reference was between about 0.6 I think and 4.2 
So we've got, you know, 0 0.583, which is pretty close. Now what we should see, I'm going to give this uh, throttle a bit of a stab. All right, and we should see the voltage change. All right, it's wide open throttle. It's all right, about 4.2, so that's correct. TPS is working. Now we've got to confirm that that is actually being sent back to the ECU. All right, so back to the ECU. Pin 91, the negative or the ground. Plug that in there. Make sure we've got a good connection. Pin 89, which is the green one. Okay, we've got voltage. Same as what we had out there before, 0 0.584. If we have a look at our reference, we should have between 0.7 and 4.5, so we're pretty close. Let's go over to uh, the driver's seat, give the throttle a mash, and see if it's correct. All right, so here we are at the throttle. Okay, we're going to just check that this sensor is working correctly. Full throttle. What have we got there? Not quite full there, is it? Oh, there we go. We just had a slightly bad connection there at that uh, ECU. Yeah, just make sure your wires are nice and tight. All right, guys, that pretty well f sums up checking the TPS. So if you had different voltages, um, what you'd be looking for is bad joints somewhere in the wiring. And, uh, yeah, have fun with that guy. The next video we'll do is checking the map sensor. Stay tuned for that one.